Michael Grubb from Evolve Ministry slash Evolve Media Productions. And Lisette, featuring Lisette. The first video we've made together since we've been married. Yep, we're married now. <laughs> we got married last Saturday. Last there. Saturday. I was going to say last weekend. Does that count? Yeah. do a uh, little Sorry. project on uh, Con the Conor McGregor slash Floyd Mayweather fight coming up and so I wanted to talk about it usually we don't talk about things like this but you know we're gonna start getting into more um, different types of topics just for the fun of it just for the sake of it first and foremost I want to say that I think that this is going to be an epic show, and it's more or less a show. Yeah. They've already have been putting together all these little PR events that you know, are getting a lot of controversy stirred up. It's all a money situation. Um, they're selling tickets. So between Floyd who it seems like Floyd is opting the role of the bad guy in this whole thing. Just this whole thing in Canada. And McGregor, of course, is just being the arrogant idiot that he is. Um, a lot of people like McGregor, I can say this. McGregor is one heck of a good fighter. He truly is. And especially for his weight class. And Floyd Mayweather is an amazing, amazing boxer. I think that if they were going to do this whole thing, that they actually should have one boxing match and one cage fighting match. So that's kind of the way I look at it. If you know McGregor has to go into Floyd's world, Floyd should have also have agreed to go into McGregor's world. Fact of the matter is, in a real fight, there is no if ands or buts. McGregor would slaughter, and I mean absolutely just demolish Mayweather. So if it was a real fight, real street fight, or a cage fight, that fight was over before it began. That being said, they're in a boxing ring. Mm -hmm. So, here is what I have to say about it. I think what this match is going to prove is the one thing that we already know, that almost everybody out there already knows. In a cage match, the cage fighter is going to win. In a boxing match, the boxer is going to win. You know, McGregor is not fighting an average boxer okay so Floyd Mayweather is probably one of the best defensive boxers that has ever existed and he's amazing offensive fighter as well he doesn't have a lot of punching power and at this point Floyd has basically bashed his fists into um, just a brittle pile of bones so he's not going to be hurting Conor McGregor with any of his punches. Here's the way I look at it. Here's the way I kind of score what's going to happen. McGregor is in amazing shape. So Floyd is going to have to be in amazing shape. Yeah. He's taken a... He's retired now, so... Yeah. Floyd's retired. He's over 40. Um, he's 49-0 and 0 as a boxer. Then we also have the fact that McGregor not only is in great shape, he's, he's a lot younger, and he's bigger, and he's stronger, and he's meaner. That being said, Floyd's extremely fast. His skills are amazing. He knows how to use the ring to his advantage, and he has the clock. He knows how to be very aware of the clock while he's facing his opponent. I think that if McGregor goes and is able to corner him and this is exactly what McGregor is going to have to do he's going to constantly have to bull those Floyd into a corner and then just batter him if he is not able to do that Floyd is just going to score point after point after point 
If McGregor wins, McGregor is going to win by a knockout. He's going to, you know, opt for his chances. He's going to take that one swing. And if he connects with Floyd really well, it's lights out for Floyd. But as I said before, I'm looking at it in terms of the fact that Floyd has been in that boxing ring for years. Again, he has made that his bread and butter. He is extremely knowledgeable with his fists. So it's going to be it's going to be strange. Now here's the thing. This was a lose-lose scenario for Floyd and it's a win-win for McGregor. If I were Floyd, I would have never have let McGregor in the ring with him. Number one, McGregor hasn't earned it. As a cage fighter, he's earned it, but as a boxer, he has not. He's never had a professional boxing match. And when it comes to, to Floyd, basically Floyd is validating this guy. So what's going to happen here is I think that McGregor is doing his best to get out of cage fighting because he knows his time is limited there. He knows his time is completely limited. Eventually, and this is what happens with cage fighting, it evolves so quickly that soon, just like what happened to Ronda Rousey, someone's going to figure out every single plan and every single thing that McGregor can do, and he's going to get his butt kicked. I mean, he already got his butt handed to him pretty well by Nate Diaz. Um, so, Connor, I think, is looking to get out of cage fighting while the getting is good, and he's trying to get into the boxing game where he can sustain a lot less damage and make a whole lot more money. And whether he wins or loses in this match, he's basically now got the ends to be a boxer and to continue his career there and make a whole ton of money that way. Floyd gains nothing out of this. Floyd just gets the 50-0 victory, which basically puts him at a place where no other boxer's been. Um, Rocky Marciano, I think, was the last person. He was 49-0 that has basically the same record. So if Floyd wins this, then he gets the 50-0 mark that most boxers have, and professional boxers have been uh, dying to get. But you see, he doesn't get it against a reputable opponent. He gets it against Conor McGregor, who has never had a professional boxing match. Either way, even when Mayweather wins, he loses. And he loses specifically just by validating this person. And coming out of, um, coming out of retirement to do this was a really bad error as well because he retired as a king. So if he loses here, that's a enormous loss, enormous. If he wins, it means nothing to the boxing world, it means nothing to anyone out there. If McGregor wins, it is absolutely enormous for him. He becomes king of everything and the amount of money that he can ask in boxing goes sky, it just goes sky high. He skyrockets as being the best, but the thing that cracks me up is he's doing this against a retired opponent. Now, if McGregor loses, he still wins because he's been validated as a boxer, and so he gets to continue his career as a boxer and gets to walk away from cage fighting altogether. These are the things that I'm looking at, and uh, you can tell me what you think. What is your opinion of it? Who do you think is going to win? Um, I really don't know who's going to win the match. In my head, I would say that Mayweather, if he does what Mayweather normally does, it's going to be a very boring match for everyone to see, but he's going to stay outside and just crack on McGregor's head for as long as it takes to make the points, and then he's going to walk out the, the winner again. If McGregor is able to bulldoze and be the type of opponent that he knows how to be, then and it could go McGregor's way. Um, you might as well kind of flip a coin on this one, but even still, it's basically 75% in Mayweather's favor. Oh, you think? I hope so. I honestly hope he wins. <laughs> Only because, um, you know, 
no. Conor McGregor did a lot of smack talking. He does he that. He was for trying him. to, you know, like get a rise out of him, and he did. And he's he coming out of retirement to do this, and that's so crazy. And I hope that for his own reputation that he does win because if he doesn't what a like what it's, a sad way to go that, know? and exactly he left be, a king and then like now is leaving a loser to somebody who hasn't earned it who, yeah who's not a boxer you know and again i say this uh if it's a street fight or if it's in the cage Floyd is dust. Right. I mean, and I say that, you know, there was a lot of people that were saying a lot of stuff about Ronda Rousey after the fact uh, when Ronda got beaten by um, Holly Holm. But the fact is, you put Ronda Rousey in a cage fight arena with Mayweather, I think Ronda Rousey takes it too. I think if you put her in a cage fight with that man, she's going to beat him to a bloody pole. It is fair to say that. I think that it is fair to assess it two ways. Have the boxing match and then also have the cage fighting match. Where, you know, why does it just have to be boxing? Um, and I know that Floyd doesn't necessarily know cage fighting, but he's got to use then what he knows. Because you've got to do it both ways to be able to, like, fairly judge who is the better fighter. Yeah to accurately get a, a good overall picture. But we already know who would win that. Right. I mean, it, it would be brutal. Um, but still, you still should, I think it still should be done. Me too. That's a fair way. It's, it's the smartest way to gauge it. Um, but Floyd knows better than that. Floyd's smarter than that. And he's not going to put himself in the position to get him his back broken <laughs> just because. So, and... McGregor wanted to make a point, like I said. Either way, this is a win-win for McGregor. It doesn't matter if he loses because he wins. Yeah. He is in a position that now he's been validated as a boxer by the best boxer that has existed basically in the 20th and 21st century. Period. So, there you have it. Let me know who you think is going to win. Yeah, tell us in the comments. Tell us in the comments below <laughs> and let us know if you think that this is going to be an epic fight or if you think it's just going to be another Floyd Mayweather show. Take care guys.